the ball. I'm just pranked. Shut up. I can hear it. You hear it? Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gon' talk, we gon' have fun. We be on fire, we be lit lit. It's a unique hustle, big, big shit. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing official, Miss Jamaica. What's well, going on? Nothing, nothing. Madea, walk on. But let me let y'all know. Y'all need to like, subscribe, follow us on all social media platforms. We have our Instagram, TikTok, Facebook. Now we do have Patreon. So definitely, that's the only place you will find our full-length interviews after a while is Patreon. So if you want to see it, you got to subscribe. You got to do that membership. And then you'll see all of our footage that you can't find nowhere else. Man, hey, man. We got a guy here now don't need no introduction because uh, his name going to say it all. You know what I'm saying? When you got this now, you got to stand on it, man. Exactly. Kevin, God, bands is in this house, man. Stop playing, man. What's going what on? Mean? What's so with it? What's so with it? Man, it's good to have you on the show, man. So, man, uh, uh, we gonna get into it, man. I like to get all the way down to the nitty gritty, man. You from Dallas? Yeah, I'm from Singing Hills. Singing Hills, man. Where's that? Man, man oh, never heard of that. Yeah, well, it's here, man. It's a bunch of places in Dallas. Exactly. <laughs> What was it like growing up in, in that area? It was cool, a lot of hustlers. You know what I'm saying? I was around my daddy and shit, you know, he was a big time hustler before he like, you know. Right. Went, you know, went the other way. But how a bunch of good money niggas in singing hills for real. Especially when we was when we were kids, it wasn't like, you know, now all the young niggas be on the other type of time. But back then it was just a bunch of good money, a bunch of hustling. So I was just around a bunch of Get money, niggas, for real. So how that made you feel as a kid? That's just what you wanted since you grew up in it and that's all you saw? I really ain't know, for real, because I, like, dad started coming around when I was, like, eight or something. So mm -hmm. I really ain't know, like, what was going on, but you could just see it, you know, new cars, new houses, yeah, everything. Yeah, of course. Yeah, for sure. So I really ain't know, like... So you weren't exposed to the full length of exactly. everything? Okay. But, like, once I got, like, once, you know, once you get, like, 10, 11, you start knowing, like, what's mm -hmm. going on, for sure. So Kids that, talk Exactly <laughs> So then Like after you start Seeing that thing You gotta have it Cause this is what you see In your mm -hmm. whole life You know what I'm saying Exactly You find out This is how I need to Get to it Really So so you were living With your mom And you Well your dad was In and out Or he was he actually Living there Yeah he was living there and Okay then, Like when I was like Eight nine Or something like that Fourth grade Whatever fourth grade was However old I was That's mm -hmm. when he left So then that's when I, You know we, They split So I went with mama Okay For sure. Did that affect you Cause you seem like You were a daddy's boy yeah, I was, but at first, yeah, I ain't gonna lie, I was a kid, yeah, yeah, yeah that fucked me up. They didn't stop coming around. Cause, Did you, you know, like spiral out where your mama said, I can't deal with you, I can't come? I started All of that. kicked out early, because I ain't gonna lie, but back then it wasn't because, like, I ain't, it didn't look like because daddy went around, uh -huh. you know what I'm saying? But as you get older, you kind of think, like, yeah, man, Yeah, because you was mad and you didn't know how to do Kids, okay, people from a long time, and it, it falls all up into these children. They don't know how to express themselves. Exactly. That's why everybody acts out in anger. That's why people do crazy stuff, exactly. because they don't know how to open up and express how they're feeling and how what had happened affected me. Exactly. You understand what I mean? So, And I think that that is a curse that us black folks keep passing on to kids and kids and generation, kids. And people... Generation. And I think it's getting a little bit better because people talking about counseling when way back in the days, people... We never used to go to counseling. Exactly. And now you have a lot more people saying it's okay to be black and go to counseling to tell people your feelings and whatever. Yeah. So it might be changing, but it's... Mm. Yeah, nah, for sure. Nah, that's for sure. 100%. So when did you start doing the music? Or when did you start feeling like I wanted to go off into this? Uh, Senior year, I had I was rapping with some niggas. And like the first song we did, it was going crazy. Like everybody was listening to it. Everybody was listening. Everybody was listening to the song. Uh, we did that. Her I go. You remember that? Uh, mm -hmm. Who is that? Mm -hmm. uh, Mystical. Mystical. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and like she had did like twenty k views or something. But like we kids though, you know, it's our first song, first video. We, ain't, you know, what I'm saying. But after that, after I realized all it takes is one song, and everybody catch away. Right. Then I started getting on. You know, what I'm saying. But I ain't really start taking it serious. I'm gonna say like twenty eighteen. 2019, <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Like, yeah, like, after I had uh, made this song called Modest, really, I made the song called Modest, I started getting, like, radio play and doing, like, shows and features with the big artists in the city and shit. Then I started taking it, like, serious, like, this could really go somewhere. So I ain't never stopped after that. I've been out guest since. Mm. Thanks. Wow. You, um, so when you think about just the Dallas music scene, uh -huh. what's... 
what's uh, one of the uh, things that you see in Dallas that you feel there's a need, <clears throat> a niche for, as far as the music go? Do you feel like you can fill the gap? But what is the thing? What is missing in Dallas? We've had some huge hits here. Yeah. But lately, uh, the music, uh, Memphis has been the sound to me. Yeah. I mean, uh, uh, basically, we hadn't had no mega hit. Yeah. To, don't you feel me when I Thanks. say that? Thanks. So what? what is the solution? Uh, I feel like, like, not I feel like not like at not like um asking somebody for something, but I really feel like them other cities like they be having like the big artists that could just come back and like you know what I'm saying like the Yo Gotti and the Young Dolph the Money Bag Yo you know what I'm saying they already at the top so it don't take them nothing to grab down and take somebody up with them like how Yo Gotti doing in Memphis Dallas don't got that well whoa 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 you got Yellow Beezy here. Yeah, but like uh, he can, he definitely he definitely have the uh, the strength the to strength to do it to pull somebody Facts. if he if he if he took it there. Yeah. So why do you think that's not happening? I don't know. Can't speak for somebody else. That's what I'm saying. I don't know. I ain't gonna lie. I don't know. It's it just something to where you know. Uh, you got you got some key guys, key players here. I see Big X is uh, doing his thing too. Yeah. Uh, you got a couple of you got some. You got some things that's happening, but you just don't have no things that's just popping all the way off. You, I even got uh, you got uh, Bumpy Johnson. I like him too. Yeah, there are some are. people here that 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 really. Uh, you got Gunna Measy here. I like Gunna oh, Measy too. Like uh, and 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 you got you, you know like I said, you got you got some guys here that really uh, you feel like they're there. But why is it the big hits and the unity? I think it's because of the the, the disconnect from unity. You don't really. Everybody's kind of separate, doing their own thing. You think so? I know so because the divided house can't stand. Because like in Memphis, they divided, but they all winning though. <laughs> but Yo they didn't start it. off like that. Facts. But we didn't start off like that either. Everybody was put together. Well, I mean, bit. it wasn't like on the level that these nah, guys fakes, was. Facts. So it's just. I think it's. I think it's just something to think about. I'm, I'm just trying to figure out what the problem is. Why the. Music ain't ain't scaling like it should to me. That's just my opinion. Yeah, I, 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 I like honestly, I really feel like like I ain't gonna lie. I don't feel like yellow obligated or them niggas obligated to do anything for anybody. That ain't what I'm saying. But I'm saying like I feel like if it was like if they was just like okay, man, we finna push, bro. Whoever bro is, not me. I'm just saying, Peter, anybody. Like nigga, like how yo got it got behind money bag and then money bag get behind bro them and then you know what I'm saying like that. It'd be easy because there's too many niggas in the city going crazy right now. Like, like, like I'm saying, like even the niggas you mentioned, but it's like a bunch of young niggas in the city, like 23 on the 18, like that. It was going crazy, like 53, baby, Doe them, Montana them, Barrio them. It's a bunch of Barrio. Yeah, that's my boy. Yeah, it's a bunch of. Uh, it's a I bunch know of him. Young, I knew that name. When you said yeah, it's, it's a bunch of young niggas in the city going crazy. Z the Wizard, uh, shit, headhunt y'all murder. Uh, shit, it's a bunch of niggas. It's a bunch of niggas going crazy. It's Lil Zach, Zach Savage. It's a bunch of niggas who, like, got the image, got the music. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Got the, I'm gonna say, popularity, the name. You see what I'm saying? But shit, it's just like, niggas ain't crossing that, that bridge where they need to cross it. But shit, I be feeling like it's gonna get there because everybody working right now. Yeah, um, five projects in 2022? Six. So he, he missed one. Six, yeah. You know what I'm saying? No okay, cap, and I'm gonna drop another one right now. My biggest one, like with the biggest features on it, biggest everything. So, shit, I need to be working. I went crazy. What's the name of it? Singing here, superstar too. That thing gonna go crazy. Yeah, gonna go crazy. I'm trying to tell you. So, do you have a problem working with artists out of town, or you only work with Dallas artists? Nah, so I got some other uh, niggas from out of city. I got, uh, I got some some a rapper from Houston. I don't wanna say no name because okay, it's a single fine. I'm pushing. That's fine. I got, uh, I got some. I got a bunch of songs with niggas from forward. I got this uh, uh rapper from Nebraska. He be going crazy That's too on there. So I be working. I be trying to like. At first, I wasn't trying to like you know get out the city. I was straight Dallas or Fort Worth, DFW. But now, I've been trying to like push it out there. You got some bars for me? Yo, come on. Okay, let me see. Check it, man. Okay, we got. You got bands? GB. Let's go, man. Boss Talk One Hundred One. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. GB. Okay. Look. Look, honey can't play, you ain't never seen that in a day LeBron, I'm just being away I'm impatient, I ain't trying to wait, just get out my way Blues in my pocket, feel awesome, took it behind me I done lost some, label trying to sign me It's gonna cost some LeBron that time me He gon' hawk on bad bitch ass fat Do it more like a piece, I'ma smash that Score when I touch down like a headband Get fly in a big pass of pig, and before with my head shake Louboutin, bell red and black, it a reverse Look, man on the wall, I'm a beater But fuck up about them hoes that cause he squirt I be knocking down goals, I'ma prepare I'ma be with it every time when we slide too Touch the place I the whip when we slime through. Young pups be with niggas who behind you. Bow ways are you niggas can't find you. I some cash all in like I'm nil nigga. Really lean, I ain't beef with no shrimp nigga. But nah, man, I, like I said, I just love to see the new energy. Uh, it, every one of y'all new guys, when the new people come, I always get them. Always, whether it's Big X, whoever. Yeah. I always get them. Nah, for sure. Hot boy, whatever. I always show love gotta too. Gotta get it. Gotta but you got, like I said, the thing is, uh, when Terry Blue called me, shout out uh, Dallas Global, shout you know, it's like, Globe. who is this nigga? You know, I'll be hard on these niggas. You know what I'm saying? All right, though. <laughs> he like, nah, man, he cool, man. You got. I'm like, hey, man, we all right, let me. All right, you know, and I'm, I, I made him wait a day yeah. or two. I'm giving you <laughs> but it wasn't, it wasn't in a bad nah, way. Nah, for sure. It it's just, good. it just, you know, it means something to me. It gotta be for real. Most niggas, you know, they jump in this game and jump out. I had a lot of dudes come on here and lie to me last year. I keep telling people that they say that we're gonna do this, they're gonna do that. Say they say Drake uh, uh, text them all kind of stuff, yeah. and and they were gonna do this and everything was gonna be up by now, and I'm still waiting. Exactly. So now I'm getting frustrated because I'm like, man, I gotta have patience, but I gotta see the consistency. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I gotta see the work, man. Thanks. I'm being real, like like you guys mean a lot to what happens in the culture. It ain't just about Dallas; it's about our people, man. All yeah. our people. Thanks. So that's why I be so hard on us. You know what I'm saying? Thanks. You young man, a lot of people sit there dead now, strapped. All these dudes have been well, in here, man. Treason. Yeah, you know, I love these dudes, man. I love to tell them, man, put God first, no matter what. That PGF guy that's in here, yeah. the one, uh, that PGF guy that just yeah. was up before y'all, his name PGF, shout, putting God first. Shout. Yeah, that's hard. You know what I'm saying? No matter what you're doing, always put him first, no matter what. Because people tell you you can't when you can. Yeah. He ain't looking at your ability. He looking at your availability. Thanks. You feel me? He don't need your ability. Thanks. He just needs you to be available to help somebody else. You know what I'm saying? So, <clears throat> just uh, what do you? What's your top three artists of all time, dead or alive? Number one, <sighs> not include me. No, not including you. Uh, my number one artist, dead or alive, in the genre. Dead or alive, my number one artist ever. Ooh, that's hard. Uh, I'm gonna say, Le, I want to say Lil Boosie for real. The boost, boost, bad Not now, baby. Then though. No matter, it's number one all time. If you say boost, that's what boost. Yeah, I'm gonna go boost. Number two. Uh, all time. I like that number one. That number one. Hard. Oh, I'm gonna go I'm little a little boost. On my number one for sure. Yo, that's yours too. <coughs> you gotta go little boost. Like hell one. no. <laughs> See, he like that Detroit shit. Oh, he from Detroit. Nah, okay, he from here though. Uh, oh, he be listening that fast music. Exactly. Come on, man. Uh, I'm gonna go little boosty number one. You gotta go boosty number one. I'm gonna go. Do I want to go Kodak or do I want to go YB or do I want to go Gates? I'm going to go Kodak. Kodak, number two. Number three. Then I'm going to go. Then I'm going to go. Then I'm going to go. Shit, that's hard all time. I'm going to go. Fuck. I don't know. I'm going to go. I'm going to go YB. YB? Man, you, you, Kevin Gates didn't make it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Kevin, yeah. Kevin, Kevin Gates. <laughs> Stop mentioning games. Hey, man. So, I mean, you know, like I said, I'm going to be watching your moves, man. A lot of visuals coming out with it. Yeah. Got to be the visuals now. It can't, it can't be no, you know, you got to be visual, got to come hard. Exactly. Because this day and time, everybody want to see it. Exactly. <laughs> um, you gotta go fuck with my shit. I've been, I've been going crazy. I ain't gonna say like non stop. Like, no, I've I been hearing. Video. That's what, that's what Blue was like. Terry was like, yeah, he go in. He. And I'm definitely gonna be, uh, I'm gonna be, uh, watching and I'm gonna be uh, meddling and talking crazy like I usually do. You need to follow Boss Talk 101. Right, follow E underscore CEO underscore. 
understood. And then I guarantee you, you I'm gonna be watching. I'm gonna be mailing. I'm gonna be posting. Exactly. We gonna we gonna do this again in a year. It, it don't gotta be a year if you come with it. You come exactly. with it. You know what I'm saying? You can come back and bring me something else, and we gonna rock out. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? As long as you working, that's what I be looking at. Shit, I sure. think that's my biggest thing. Why people be like, man, why he, why he? I'll be like, man, I see you, man, bye bye. I'm, you, you, uh, I'm looking for this work. Exactly. I'm looking for the. I need somebody supposed to call me. All that stuff because. The streets gonna tell you what's going on. What's going on? Am I right? For sure. So I think I'm tapped in with the right people. For sure. And I sure. feel like them people ain't gonna they ain't gonna come to me because they know how I am. Exactly. They don't come unless it's time. This is real. They go, that nigga exactly. don't want nothing from us. Yeah. That's good though. <laughs> shit, nigga ain't gonna hit you when he know a nigga bullshit. Nah, he exactly. you knows one hundred, man. Thanks. So man, hey, man, I came got bands. They made it to Boss Talk one hundred and one. What a bosses talk, man. Right, bosses. I got a song called Boss Talk. I mean, that's what you, you should. Lying, call. I'm for real. Son. Where? Well, on YouTube, man, they hold hard. It's Is it hard? Come on, bro. Why, where'd you get, when, when did you make it? Years ago. Don't play. Bro. How many years ago? Like three. Yeah, that was about when I came out with this. That nigga copied my style. <laughs> 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 Uh, like two, right? He know like boss talk. Like it was in his head. Like it was in your head. Boss talk was. I was on it. You know what I'm saying? You're like, man, I don't know where I got this from. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't know where I got this. Look, y'all probably, y'all probably heard that song, fam. Let me, let me show like, you something. Let, let me show you something. That dude that just left out of here. Yeah. This ain't nothing but some boss talk. Name Kevin got banned. Nigga, you out here stunting on these young boys. I hope you, hey, listen, man, keep okay. it on the music, man. I'm on the music. That's you know what I said. That? I'm done with all that. That's two, three years ago. See? Now, that's hard. I'm on some ground shit now. I though. think, I, I, like I said, man, my thing is to make sure that uh, I pay attention and see where where it go from here, to be honest with you. That's what I do. I you know, we got to keep it 100, man. Like I said, I love you. I love your, your energy, man. Like I said, the one thing I can say is just keep putting God first, man. You know what I'm saying? How can people get a hold of you? Kevin got Benz, K E V A N, got Benz with a Z everywhere. YouTube, Apple Music, Spotify, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, all DSPs. Motherfucker, subscribe to my YouTube, Kevin got Benz. It's the same, spelled the same way on everything. Man, hey, man, thank you for coming on the show, man. Appreciate we got love for you on Boss Talk 101, man. It's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101, where the bosses talk. And we out.